Good morning, women Wildcats. It is time for our daily announcements. We are from Mr. Nedford's class, grade six. Today is October 26th, Wednesday. Matt, what are we having for lunch today? Today we are having breakfast for lunch and a choice of milk. Tomorrow we are having teriyaki chicken with brown rice, stir fried vegetables, or garden salad with hard boiled eggs, shredded cheese dressing with mini breadsticks, and a, and a fruit, fresh fruit cup, and a fortune cookie and a choice of milk. Sammy, what can we expect for the weather today and tomorrow? Today we can expect a low of 35 degrees and a high of 54 degrees. Tomorrow has a low of 43 degrees and a high of 55 degrees. You might want to wear some pants, but that's all. And it looks like we have two birthdays today. Happy birthday to um, um, Mil Happy Miliana. Miliana and Amaya. Happy birthday, guys. Oh, and now some announcements for our principal is coming and Miss Amy. Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. I have a lot to go over today. First, our, we only had two students participate in Tuesday trivia yesterday. Only two. So one of them had the correct answer. Although she put down Sylvia Medina, I think because she had the right birth date, but I think she meant to put down Sylvia Mendez. She is the person that was the civil rights activist from Mexico and Puerto Rico heritage. And she was an instrumental role in Mendez versus Westminster case for desegregation. So if you paid attention, you would have known that Mendez was her last name. So congratulations to Kate Hernandez Bercera. She can come down and claim her prize in the office. Hopefully we'll have more participation next week. Remember my, <clears throat> sorry guys, I have a cold. Remember my weekend challenge on Thursday before we left was to get new pledges for the weekend because we have two days today and tomorrow left before our big fun run on Friday. We had 21 students take my challenge on Thursday to get new pledges over the weekend. They will get a free item from the vending machine today. So congratulations, I'm going to say them fast, to Alice and Owen Dumbeck, Angelica and Nathaniel Rannick, Brooklyn Perez, Clarissa and Annalise Yang, Courtney L., Dimitri W., Jackson W., Jayla and Kevlin Martin, TJW, Simone P., Lily Jonathan and Jacob S., Andrew and Zach G., Nolan L., and Oscar C. I will see you at the vending machine today. So it's not too late to get pledges. I know I reached out to my family to see if I could get any donations before Friday. So let's make sure that we do that and we have some fun come Friday. Miss Amy, what do you have for us today? Hey, Miss Amy, you forgot your microphone. Wow, forgetting that I'm muted. Okay, so I want to let students know that I will be stopping by classrooms um, with a treat for those students that are, are the highest achievers on the online intervention. And again, it's making progress, not just time. And I will be talking to teachers about how we will continue to do this in the future, but we want to honor and reward those students that are working really hard. We have many on iReady, everyone on Moby Max, and now Alex, and then ST Math. So, Plenty to do for our online interventions, for sure. For Wonder Wednesday, I want to say one last thing about NASA and what they are working on right now. And I want I want you to think, we had talked about how much this actually the astronaut spacesuits cost, crazy numbers. So I wonder if you know how much NASA spends per year. Every organization, even a family, even a person will have a budget. What is their budget proposed for this, for well, for this year? 24 billion dollars what that's a crazy amount of money well listen to this it is four tenths of a percent of all u.s spending not even half of one percent of the u.s budget is for nasa and its endeavors so honestly that's nothing compared to when they first landed on the moon they spent 60 billion making that happen most of the money actually almost half of it goes toward human space flight. You know it costs so much training the astronauts, the machinery, the rockets, the fuel, the studies to get 
rockets off our planet and and to be in space satellites and then also remember they want to make a permanent place a permanent structure several structures on the moon so they that will kind of serve as a base as they try to get to mars for further exploration so while it's just an incomprehensible amount of money when you look at the whole united states budget it's just a sliver that's a pretty much pretty awesome things going on with that sliver of money so that's what i wanted to share today uh, so look forward to those teachers i will be dropping off names and prizes for our online winners and if you could close out our announcements please tune in today and tune in today Tune in today and every day for more Women Wildcat news. Have a great day, Women Wildcats. We'll see you around the building. We, we are, are women. women.